So I get to see this thing when I work out in the morning because it sits in here. It's one of Andy's old toys. Whoa, I just stepped on a cat. Are you okay there, Zeus? <laughs> I didn't know he was there. But uh, this thing's creepy, right? Right? And that's what I get to deal with. So is this how you carry kids? I mean, Shay Carl does it like this. Is that how you, is that how you purposely, is that how you do it? Hey, Andy. Uh, is this how you properly carry a baby? Because Shay Carl, oh Shay Carl does that, and then he does one of these. And then his kids turn out just fine. I mean, no. they all have their body parts still. No. I can't just like go, what's up, baby? Hey, baby, yeah. I mean, he, <laughs> Shay does that. <laughs> to the older ones. Or he does the, um, or he picks him up with one hand, and he does like the helicopter. Oh yeah. <laughs> I... That's, uh, I can't wait to do that. Oh my god. Guys, look at that gut. <laughs> look at the belly. Like the seat, like it's over the seatbelt. You guys see this? <laughs> yep. Her baby bump is just, it's like over the seatbelt. <laughs> look at that, guys. Hello, baby bump. The baby's growing. And he has been flicking me in the same spot all day long. Like just like off stomach. and on all day, but there was like a good two or three minutes this morning where he just kept like hitting me in the same spot. And so I, I posted on Twitter and I was like, oh, it keeps hitting me in the same spot. Stop it, Mr. Needle Toes. <laughs> we have to clean up because it's just, it's kind of, it's just kind of nasty in here. We've been really busy and it's time to clean. So guys, we're going to be cleaning, but I'll be right back. Hey guys, what's up? So two things have happened today. One. I've had the song Rock Lobster stuck in my head thanks to uh, the Heidi and Frank show this morning. They vote every day for a song to never play on KLOS ever again. And one of the songs this morning was Rock Lobster by uh, the B-52s. And I just, I ironically was singing it in the car to make Andy mad, but in return it's been stuck in my head all day. And the second thing that's happened today is, you guys may have seen my Instagram where I posted a photo of my cat Gibson. Uh, we got Gibson five years ago on Valentine's Day and uh, sadly he went missing. He was missing for about eight days, but then he just showed up at the back door of my parents' house. Where the heck was he? After eight days, eight days, Days. Where was he hiding? He came back home. And my mom said he just looked really skinny. He just looked really pissed off. Uh, <laughs> he was fine. He wasn't limping. He wasn't bleeding. He wasn't hurt. He, but I mean, you know, you're, you're gone eight days from your house. How frazzled are you? You ever go on vacation? You just go on vacation and you come back pissed off. <laughs> like that, and that was vacation. He was in the desert. How, imagine how pissed off you'd be, right? I'm imagining that he probably got chased by a coyote or some other predator and ran away and then lost like where he was when he was running away and so it just took him that long to make his way home. Yeah. Just thankfully he didn't get eaten like my cat did. Yeah, Ringo got eaten. It was awful. Poor Ringo. But I'm so glad that Gibson's home. Yeah. And now he has a little sister. So now their new cat, which I didn't get to name. Uh, Heidi commented on, on my, my photo and she said, did you name it PRS? PRS is another type of guitar. Gibson's name is Gibson because we're big fans of Mel Gibson. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Gibson, like Gibson Guitars is why his name's Gibson. And uh, I got him for you for Valentine's Day. Yeah, Andy got him for me for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Are you going to fall asleep in that chair like I did? I might. It's pretty comfortable. Anyway. Uh, so I'm excited he's home. This this weekend, we're actually going to our, my parents' house because uh, I have a Mother's Day gift to give to my mom, and I was unable to get it to her this weekend just because we were so busy. You know, you know how it goes. You know how it goes. But uh, we're making time for Mama. We'll be there over this weekend, and it's gonna be a busy weekend. Another busy weekend, guys. Another busy weekend. Mm -hmm. So we're cleaning tonight. 
So we cleaned. No more boxes. Yay. You still gotta throw this stupid thing away. I don't wanna throw it away. I wanna sell it. Okay. If we can. Well, if we can sell it, that'd be awesome. But no one's it's, buying it's looking it. like we're throwing it away. It's just a, it's just a stand of DVDs. Yeah. Do you guys want it? Do you guys want it? Maybe I'll take it to Goodwill. I don't know. I don't know. If you want it, come over and take it. Okay. Any. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> we have all of our movies put away in this nice cool binder. You guys saw that from the weekend vlog. And yeah, but we just cleaned up. The boxes are gone. The floor is swept. The giant kitty fort box is gone. There's room on the floor. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Nice. These chairs are so comfortable. Yeah, I fell asleep in there last night. I fell asleep. And I can't, well, I came home oh. late. He kicked me right in the belly button, right in the same spot where he's been getting me all day. Yeah. Every so. time I sit down, uh, like all day today while I was at work, um, so my belly button is right here, and he's been kicking me right here in the same spot all day long while I've been sitting at my desk at work, and it just feels like somebody's like flicking me from the inside, but over and over and over in the same spot. Oh. And for a while, I was like, okay, can you stop? Like, I was actually grabbing my belly and kind of shaking it a little bit, like, move. I feel like an old person. <laughs> I'm in like a uh, like a gliding chair hanging out with the wife. We're just kind of relaxing, but instead of reading books and me smoking a pipe, I'm vlogging. <laughs> and I'm not reading a book, I'm reading my phone. Same thing now. <laughs> it's the same thing nowadays. Now it's, it's like sad. now it's like books have turned into like iPads, Kindles and so forth. And you know, reading your phone's the same. I mean, you're just not turning pages. You're just scrolling them. Kind of weird to think about, huh? I'd rather read an actual book. You like actual books? Yeah, I don't. What do you What do you guys like? Do you like actual books? Comment down below. I like actual books, but there is a convenience to like one yeah. device. But I like the smell of like the paper and the yeah. book and holding the book and just the paper. I don't mind my Kindle. <laughs> I do like the Kindle. For, you like, like it because it has Fifty Shades of Grey on it. That's why you like it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Yeah. I like the Kindle for like travel purposes, but if I'm just at home, I'd rather just read an actual paper book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Tiny. What's up? What's up, little girl? <laughs>